So yes, this is a Bitcoin futures contract that's running through the Chicago Board Options Exchange for trading Bitcoin and went live on December 10th, 2017. If you're wanting to get this into your new trader platform, listen up. This is coming up right after this. So we have to set up our data feed first and those expectations have to be set or else everything else will fail. So for this video to work, we're going to assume that you have the kinetic data feed, either the delayed or live or the continuum data feed, either the free or the paid. Okay. Anything else might require a different setup and we'll try and keep you up to date on that in the description for broker specific requests. Now, if you want free live Bitcoin prices that are not delayed, you can get a free account and all the information like that, the links, the pros and the cons are all listed on our website, which we'll put a link in the description here. Now, if you don't have your data figured out, then all you will get is a blank chart. Okay. After going through this, if you see a blank chart, it's probably an issue with either your data connection or your symbol mapping, post any questions in the comments below and we'll be glad to help you out. Now, once you have your data sorted, you can simply type in the symbol XBT followed by the contract specifying the month and the year. So today that means putting in something like XBT space 01-18. When you do that, you should see the Bitcoin charts for the January 2018 contracts get loaded and those quotes should start displaying immediately. You're not going to see a lot of data because the symbol just launched yesterday. So you'll only start to see the data as the chart has been formed so far. That's obviously going to change the older this video gets. You'll probably start to see a whole lot of back data. But right now, because it just launched, you'll only start to see since yesterday when it launched. Now, as of December 11th, when we're doing this video, this is a day after the contract just loaded. If you are already starting to draw patterns on your chart, you'll probably be able to draw some forecasted patterns to see where price might reverse, but there isn't a lot of data in there right now to have things starting to pick up automatically uh, with completed patterns. So the longer we go and, and later on in the week, we'll start to see that happen. We might start to see that happen already today on some smaller term, like some five minute patterns that might pop up, but otherwise you're gonna to wanna to hold on a few days as, as more data gets loaded into the chart. So why is Bitcoin on the futures interesting? Uh, probably three main reasons I can think of, okay? One, it gives more institutional money away to trade along with the price of Bitcoin or the big bucks to bring a new level and I guess a more serious tone to things. Uh, two, it's a way to trade Bitcoin where you don't have to worry about a key or losing all your money if a wallet got hacked. And three, it provides a much better easier adoption into Bitcoin for people. So I think those three main reasons are probably the most interesting of why, you know, having a Bitcoin future contract launch is, uh, is rather interesting. Now, don't forget if you are using NinjaTrader, be sure to grab our free price line indicator we released. It's extremely useful if you're wanting to have a line drawn across your chart so you can see all the past Bitcoin prices and reference the current price as well. So if you're going back in time trying to draw in levels of support and resistance or see where price is in relationship to current price, you can do that very easily that way. As well as our news indicator that you can get that will draw news events on the chart so you know when upcoming news is about to happen and you don't get surprised by it. So don't forget to slap that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification button and we'll see you guys in the next video.